Are you keeping her? No, she can go with her. Babe, you can take her. Scotty, yaddy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about indie authors. This is part two of probably a never ending series on my channel um, about indie authors and some of my favorites. I actually started to comprehend how huge this list is going to be um, when I started going through my Kindle and looking at all of my indie authors. It is daunting how many I have, but it's also amazing because I get to talk about so many amazing women in this industry. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Anne and I'm an indie author myself. Uh, if you don't know what an indie author is, if you've just somehow stumbled upon this video, an indie author is an independently published author, uh, of which there are so many more these days as technology has made it way more accessible to write a book and publish a book yourself without going through the traditional gatekeepers, which I think is amazing. If you haven't watched part one of this series, uh, go and watch part one now if you feel like it. And hopefully I can introduce you to some uh, new authors. Most of this, all of this, if not one, is going to be like a virtual version. I'm going to depend on how this turns out on camera. I'm either going to like hold it up on my Kindle so you can see all of my lights. Um, or like insert like a photo on the screen afterwards. We will see. Hopefully I can just do it here so I don't have to do too much fiddling uh, and editing because I am not good at that. Uh, I feel like... I need to slow down my speaking. Um, I said in my read group today uh, that I feel like I've been a hundred different personalities before 10 a.m. And that is so true. I definitely am such uh, on an emo emotional roller coaster lately. Like we all are, it's such a crazy time in this world. And as I said in my first video, reading is such a lovely way to escape and just feel safe, um, even if it is just for the length of a book. But yeah, I really hope that I can introduce you to some really special, uh, talented people who will help you through this time. So let's get into it. This is, the first one is a physical book. Um, and I'm not biased, guys. I'm not biased. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is my fiance on the cover of this. And he also co-wrote this book with um, C.D. Bradley, who is another amazing, amazing author if you haven't read her. Um, in general, you should read her, but this book, if you want to get started, it's like MC. I have a lot of MC books in this video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like what MC is. It's Motorcycle Club Romance, which is how I got my start. Um, it was definitely a big thing, I would say, after probably Sons of Anarchy and all of that kind of stuff, but it created um, such a boom in the romance industry about motorcycle club romances, which is how I got my start, and um, I love them, so... This is such a different take on it. It's about a ballerina and a um, MC member and it is so, so, so well written. Uh, it's really beautiful. My man writes Dimitri and C.D. Bradley writes Annalise and I think it's a really, really beautifully written book. Uh, Co-written books, I haven't read a lot of them but it can easily read very disjointed but this is so smooth and flawless and... Um, yeah, if you haven't read this already and if you love MC Romance, I am not just being biased, I promise you. Uh, this is such, such a good read. Alright, that is the first and last of our physical books. Uh, I quickly need to make a disclaimer too. I did this in my first video, but just to all of my uh, author friends who I love, if you're not in here, it doesn't mean I don't read you. As I said, I have such a huge list. You're going to be here eventually, I promise. I just, it's very daunting to go through all of these and I've just thought of like four people that I wish that I could have um, mentioned in this because of that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was a huge romance reader before I became an author and I was so ferocious, like many of you are, I'm sure, reading one, two, three books a day depending on how much time I had, depending on what my mental health was like. Um, so yeah, that's my disclaimer and also I am almost certain these ladies are all completely indie, but some of them might be hybrid now, which is amazing. If you don't know what hybrid is, it's just you are self-published and also traditionally published. Um, all right, anyway, I need to find where I'm starting and let's see if this works how I want it to work. Uh, the first is such, oh my gosh, this book, you guys, it is so funny. It's Seduction and Snacks by Tara Sadiq. Holy fuck, this book. I... <laughs> I remember I was reading it very early in my, um, when I first discovered, like, the romance and my Kindle and stuff like that. 
I read this and I, was, I very vividly remember this. I was in my um, living room. I was still living at home this, at this point and maybe I was just visiting. But I'm originally from New Zealand and um, that's where home was for me at the time. And I remember I just couldn't stop laughing. My mum was sitting there and she was just like, what are you laughing at? And it was this book. I have come to personally interact with um, Tara Sevek. I haven't met her yet, but she is just freaking kick-ass. Not only can she write really, really funny fucking books, but really, she can also do dramatic and deep. Um, I think Seduction and Snacks is actually the perfect book to read right now because we all need to find a reason to laugh. And you guys, this is like the funniest book. It's about like... um a uh, girl who gets pregnant quite young and she's like a single mother and there's a romance that comes I just I can't even tell you guys about it it is so fucking funny and the relationship between her and her dad is everything so if you need a laugh um you should really really pick up seduction snacks or anything from Tara Civic. she is very talented all right um next up is one of my ride or die best friends um, who I have been friends with since I started in the industry. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see this. Um, I might have to insert the screen. But this is Raising Grace by Elmo Jones. Uh, this is just the first one I came upon on my Kindle. I have many more in here. Silver Swan, um, Malam, and she just released Today Crown by Hey Part 2. Um, today when I'm filming it might be yesterday for you guys depending how long it takes me to edit this. But um. Many of you know that I'm very, very good friends with Amal Johns. We are both Kiwi girls and she's smashing it in this indie industry. And I'm just like so in awe of her. She's grown so much as an author and a person and she is the queen of dark. So gone from one to the other. Tara is very funny and well, the book that I was talking about at least, very funny and light. Whereas Amal was like dark, dark. Um, she is such a great author. So... If you haven't picked up any of her, she has a really good variety. All of her books have the same, like, very dark, gritty theme, but just excellently written. So if you haven't looked at her, I would highly recommend the first book in Crown by Hate, I believe, is on sale and in KU right now. And then part two is just live and also in KU. So I think you should definitely go and check her out. Um, am I going too fast? I need to, like... I thought I was really good. I just had like some CBD gummies, which I'm swimming by right now. That really chilled me out. And then now I'm like, <sighs> um, the next up is another MC. Um, a lot of you are MC readers. A lot of you are my readers who I know love MC and it's always, um, a struggle to find new MC books. So I'm helping you out right now, girl. I got you. Uh, this is the Ride series by Megan O'Brien. She is another hugely talented author who I think needs a lot more recognition because I don't think this is going to work, but I'm just going to still do it. Um, I read her uh, red series really, very early on and I remember being like, when is the next book coming? Like, oh my gosh, that's, it's such a good MC series. It is like, if you're a reader of the genre, then you know, like it's just kind of that core cool series that has enough suspense, but isn't crazy dark and is like, super readable and super easy to escape into and definitely her series is that um I'm not sure how many books are in the series but I think she's released quite a few since I started reading her and um yeah if you want to check out her she is so good so I highly recommend the MC series by Megan O'Brien it is really really good um I actually think I'm due for a reread of it and like I think a few of these you guys are gonna be like oh of course I've read these before but um I'm talking about my favourites and I'm talking about women, a lot of women in the industry who I myself have had the pleasure to interact with and who have just been really kind and just generous to me um, and yeah, I just really want to um, lift women up, that is a huge part of who I am and what I stand for as an author and a human being is lifting other women up and not engaging in any kind of silly stuff which is prevalent in the industry but prevalent in any industry uh so yeah this is just what it's all about i want my channel as much as i can to talk about like makeup and all of that kind of stuff but also in my very small way do something for womankind anyway next up is mariana zapata i am gonna hopefully pronounce that correctly this is luna and the lie i'm not sure if this is the first i think this is the first book i read by her I had many of her books in my library. 
because if you're a huge indie and romance reader, you already know she's a giant of the industry. She's the queen of the slow burn and she has super long books, which is like my shit. I love long books. I cannot get enough of them. But before this, I was like not into slow burn. I just couldn't. I'm like, no, I want them to fuck like straight away. Like, give me all the sex. And interestingly, this is something that has also been introduced into my books as I've read more and as I've grown up more, experienced life more. Um, I have wanted more of that emotional connection first and Lunar and the Lie and all of uh, Mariana's books are very much centered on the couple becoming friends and creating a connection before um, a relationship or even sex. Like a lot of her books don't have relationships till the very end, which used to be a red flag for me because I'm like, no, I want like romance all the way through. But if that's you and you haven't read her, just trust me. It's, it's the way she does it is so wonderfully done and she is a top, top, queen of the industry for a reason and um her humor is also really on point as well I fucking love like she really has made me laugh out loud a few times so anything by her I really like Luna and the Lie um from Luke Off With Love I can't remember the others but she has like a million that are so good uh another one who you obviously already are going to have heard of is Mia Sheridan this is Archer's Voice this isn't the first book I read by her but this is this is the book that really really spoke to me she has um so many amazing other ones but yeah Archer's voice is so beautifully written it is so like poetic she's very very poetic in nature she is like her books are deep and they're full of like love and they just they will totally draw you in and um grab you by the throat and really pull at your heartstrings again you pick up anything by Mia Sheridan you're going to be happy that you did but if you haven't read Archer's voice then I highly highly recommend it um i'm not sure this is romance kind of but not but i'm not sure how many of you have read this author um and how many haven't she's really big but she wait let me go to the fucking cover um she's again one of the really early indies that i read and she's not hugely romance but her books are romance and there's really good humor in them uh it is amanda emily she has a witches series as well she has a huge amount of books out um this series i believe has eight this is the avery shaw series and it's this is the first book in the series which is who what when we die uh avery shaw is a journalist and those of you who know me know that i went to university for journalism and my uh initial goal going to university was to become a journalist Obviously I fell into writing and I love it and it's so amazing um, but I definitely connect with these a lot because there is journalism and sh it is humour and it's light and it's romance and it's like suspense, it's very female driven, it's very feminist, all of her books are. Uh, I highly recommend if you want something like really good to read and um, a bit lighter but intelligent at the same time. Uh, I highly recommend Am Amanda Emily. She does a lot of different books on through a lot of different genres. Her witch series is also amazing. Uh, I went through the Avery Shaw Mysteries like so quickly and I would stalk her page and be like, when is the next one coming out? When is the next one coming out? Because it kind of just follows. She does different stories and gets tangled up in them and there's always like some kind of kidnapping or anything like that and I'm such a sucker for that I'm very traditional in that way and um, a lot of my books went that way and I need to go back to that kind of formula because not in a bad way I love to read books where I'm like oh you know she's gonna get kidnapped and she's gonna like get her way out of it and save herself and I really like that also by the way this room I always have been like Taylor what is happening to me after I film I can't speak or breathe properly but like the ventilation in this room where I'm filming I don't have a fan going and I get really bad allergies, so I'm going to have to, like, probably start getting really stuffy. So I apologize. Um, and get another reason why I need to go a little bit quicker. Um, which is fine, because we only have, like, four books left. Another author I um, interacted with when I was teeny tiny, and she was so gracious and kind to me. And just, she is to everyone. This is Penny Reed. I'm sure a lot of you have read her. This is Neanderthal Sex Human. Um, she has a bunch of books out. Her Winston Brothers series is great. But this is the first book I read by her and it was so good. It's a smart romance is the name of it. Again, her humor is so fucking good and so intelligent. And this book is like about this 
I don't even know if I really need, to, I don't want to talk about it too much, but it's um, about this kind of like socially awkward, very smart woman and she um, falls in love and it's just kind of like a really interesting take on romance in a goofy but really endearing and really lovely way. Um, this, I think, is the Knitting in the City series, I believe it's called. Um, and she has, again, her Winston Brothers is also great. But if you haven't read Neanderthals, Neanderthal Seeks Human, then I highly, highly recommend that. Um, next up is another MC, but also she has some really beautiful books that aren't MC. Um, A Thousand Boy Kisses. Oh my god, that broke my soul. But um, the book that introduced me to Tilly Cole is It Ain't Me Babe, and it's the Hades Hangman series. Um, I think I'm just going to put the screen grab up on here. Uh, again, Tilly is someone who I've met and who is just a beautiful, kind person, super supportive of other women. And you guys, this is some of one of the top MC series I've ever read because it is so unique, so dark, but so beautiful. She is a poetry to her words as well, but it is so good. But I will um, advise you, very dark, almost level, super super twisty super intense but in such a beautiful way she has written it so well so be warned it is dark but you will love it um thousand boy kisses as i said such a beautiful book um but be prepared to sob your fucking eyes out um another our last two are mc um also by two lovely women who i am lucky enough to know uh the first is Incandescent by River Savage. Uh, River Savage is an Aussie girl. She's beautiful. I love her. Again, I'm going to try and put the thing up here. This is the Knights Rebel MC series. Uh, again, I read her when I was in my MC kick and she is just awesome. She is great. Um, again, those kind of traditional MC books that we love, like the suspense, the really good romance, good just everything about it is so perfect for right now for an escape. So if you're an MC lover and you haven't read um, River Savage, then I highly, highly recommend her. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about them in other books, but Nina Levine and Ella Fields are two other Aussie authors who I adore. Um, Ella Fields just released A King So Cold, and it is such a good book. I had the pleasure of reading it very early, and she kicked it out of the park. So if you love fantasy, they like all of that kind of stuff, fucking good. And the last one is, um, I love this chick, she is so cool. This is Hide and Seek by Leila Frost. I don't even know why I'm still holding it up, but I think she has a new cover anyway, so I'll put it up here. Um, Leila Frost is so fucking funny. Um, I mentioned Brent Asher in my last video and they are good friends and they are just awesome. Leila's books are great. Um, Best case scenario, I think, is next, but Hide and Seek is super funny. It's so good. Um, I remember, I think I must have read it when she'd only just released it, and I stalked her so hard to be like, when is the next one coming? Isn't that, like, the most horrible but also amazing feeling where you're so in love with an author and their words, and you're like, why the fuck haven't you written the next one yet? I'm so, like, I will get, like, annoyed, but in a good way because I love them so much and like I just want more of your books so that is such a lovely feeling to have when you find someone who re you relate to so much and whose books pull you in especially if you're going through a kick like I do hopefully and hopefully will again as like you read and read and if you've got your kindle you're finished and your first thing to do is be like next one in the series bye get it and um yeah that's just like what I used to love to do and especially when I was feeling out of sorts. It was such a lovely, safe thing to be able to know, hey, I can just go on my Kindle and um, find beautiful escapes. And I also remember when I was super into um, romance, it would be like my biggest thing to be like on Goodreads, like trying to find that my next book that's going to fill that void and it had to be very specific. And that's how I wrote my book, Making the Cut, is because I'm like, I want suspense, but I want like humor but I want love and I want all of this kind of stuff and I was just like how do I guarantee I'm going to get that I'm like well I'll write my own fucking book but if you are like me and you want all those things every book I've just mentioned gives you that and more please support these authors as I said in my first video about this indie authors hustle so hard for um what we have 
it we are there is no one behind us there's no publishing house or anything like that it's just us we do it all for example me I learned everything I made so many mistakes and it's so much harder and it's so much scarier so if you um, already read indies and haven't read these guys please support them and if you haven't just you should really check them out they're so amazing and if you like them make sure that you leave a review follow them on goodreads and amazon just you know even if it's just a little like or whatever just something to kind of engage because it makes such a difference for indie authors who rely on your reviews and who really um get affected by your comments i know me it always seems to be the way when i'm really doubting myself or really worried about you know the fact I'm not writing enough or people don't like my books or whatever and then I seem to get a message a beautiful message from someone who doesn't know it but they make a huge difference not only in my day but in my life as an author so make sure you do that if you do love those authors and if you do love their books reach out to them or go on their reader group or like their Facebook page just something that may seem small to you but really makes a big difference to us as indie authors so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you like this kind of series, please let me know down below in the comments and like the video and subscribe and all that. I see so many YouTubers doing it, but I don't even know if it makes a difference. But if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'm having so much fun making this and it's really, really helping me through this time to be doing something, sitting here and engaging with you guys. Uh, and it makes me really happy that you guys like this and maybe it might help you have a little escape for 20 minutes or 45 like some of my other ones. But yeah, I am like having trouble breathing and I'm very hot right now. So I will let you go and please go and one click some of those authors if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments if you have read something from the first video and you loved it or if you found some new authors. I love seeing what you guys say. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.